Yo, what's good everybody? This is Hafiz and welcome to today's video. Before we get started, I want to read to you guys a message a young man recently sent to me. Dear Hafiz, I just wanted to first and foremost thank you guys for what you do. As I was going through the worst breakup of my entire life, spiraling out of control, drinking like crazy, smoking all day long, calling out of work. I stumbled across your podcast and I've been locked in every since. I've grown a lot, but have a lot of work left to do and I understand this. Accountability it has literally become my favorite word because let's just say I finally put the bottle down and looked in the mirror at myself and I did not like who was staring back at me. I realized I was a problem and I never really valued myself. Thanks to you guys, I'm on the way. My name is blank. By the way, all the way from a small town in South Carolina, I tune in every week. Can't wait till you guys do live shows. You don't know how much you have helped me, but it doesn't stop here. Manhood course starts now. Man, that was such a great message. The reason why I wanted to share that message with you guys is because a new day has come. There was once a time and a place where if you were a man, and you went through heartbreak, or you went through failure, or you went through pain, or you went through depression, if you went through suffering, you had nowhere to go. If you didn't understand finances, you had nowhere to go. If you didn't understand fitness, you had nowhere to go. Spiritual health, emotional health. If you didn't understand what it means to be a man, you had nowhere to go. But what we created with the roommate is we've given you men so many tools. We've given you men so many resources. We've given you guys so many things so that you guys can become the best version of yourself. And so many guys are finding the content. So many guys are growing. So many guys are blossoming. And this has been such an amazing sight. And so in my brain, there is no more loser men. That's my goal. My goal is that I don't want to see no more loser men. If you are a loser man, it is a choice. Because as I said, a loser is not someone that loses. A loser is someone that loses and chooses to stay down. That's what a loser is. In my opinion, we should end that because every guy has all the resources to get back up. We have so many interviews. We have so many free courses. We have so much content, book recommendations. Guys, enough is enough. Too many of you guys are going through what this young man went through at the beginning of his life. Drugs, alcohol, heartbreak from women, OnlyFans, all these things. You guys are going through these things. Now is the time for freedom. Now is the time for you to get up and to become the man that you're created to be. No more loser men. Those days are over. It's a new era. A new era of men who are excelling for greatness. Men who are um, ambitious and driven. And men who have purpose in their hearts. And men who are high character men who are leading with integrity. And so, so many guys were asking me, say, Hafiz, man, can you give us some more tools and more resources and more support? And after months of working and after months of editing and researching it, the masculinity course is finally out. And so the goal of the masculinity course is to help every single man tap into the divine masculine energy that they have inside of them right? And to be the man that they've always desired to be. And I'm telling you, I dropped it on Patreon on Sunday and so many guys sending me message after message, review after review, thanking me for all this information, because these are things that every single man needs to know. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for those who have not signed up yet on Patreon is I'm going to give you guys a small sample of the masculinity course. I'm going to give you a small sample so that you guys can see what it's about. And then hopefully after you watch the sample, link in the description below, patreon.com slash roommate. Sign up for Patreon to get the free masculinity course as well as all the other courses as well as free additional resources on Patreon. 
as I said in the beginning, guys, is my course the only way? Of course not. There's millions of ways. I just simply want to be another tool on your tool belt to success. We have so much free content uh, that's available, but men, you have to learn how to sacrifice for what you want. You men have no problem sacrificing for OnlyFans. You have no problem sacrificing for the hub. You have no problem sacrificing for that new Call of Duty or that new 2K. You need to start sacrificing for your development as well because it is so much meaningful when you're watching things and you're consuming content that you put your time and your resources into when you've honestly sacrificed. So this young man's story of life transformation, I want to see hundreds, no, thousands, heck, millions of these stories. I will not stop until every single man on planet Earth knows about the roommates and knows that there is a path for you to become the masculine man that you always want to be and for you to become the best version of yourself. So let's go ahead and start the, the sample of the masculinity course. And also this Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going back live, Hafiz Unfiltered. Let's get it. Look forward to seeing you guys there. But let's check out the small sample of the course and see you guys on Patreon. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Hafiz and welcome, welcome, welcome to the masculinity course. It's been a long time time creating this course and i know i've been promising it for a while but i'm so glad that all of you guys are here and i'm so glad that you guys are continuing the journey to become the best version of yourself so before we begin i want to tell you a very important story if you ever are asked this question what is the greatest anime of all time you need to understand that that question has three answers in no particular order the top three animes of all time is Yu Yu Hakusho Naruto and Dragon Ball Z if you have to choose watch Yu Yu Hakusho and I personally love you who Yu Yu Hakusho and then if somebody was to ask the question what are the two greatest superheroes from Marvel and from DC me personally, Marvel is Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man from Marvel and DC. My favorite superhero is the one and only Cal L, AKA Superman. What I love so much about the Superman story, for if you guys are familiar with it, is that Clark Kent, AKA Cal L, was born on a planet called Krypton. The planet was exploding and the father sent his son, um, his, the father's name was Jor-El. He sent Clark to planet Earth, right? So Clark was sent to planet Earth from planet Krypton. And then when Clark gets to planet Earth, you know, he kind of loses his memory, kind of doesn't know who he is. But what his father provides him is a database of his consciousness, a database of his information. He gives them all the secrets to the universe, the secrets to Krypton, the secrets to life, the secrets to who he is as a man. So though Clark grows up on planet Earth, his father provides him all the information possible to become and know who he is, who his real character is and what his real power is about. You see, guys, this is what the masculinity course is. So many of you guys are here on this planet. You're lost. You're confused. You don't really know who you are. And you don't really know the power that exists inside you. And this power is going to be called masculine energy. And so this course is all about helping men today tap into that divine masculine energy that's inside of them. All I care about is seeing you win and thrive. And I want to give you as many tools to help you alongside the way. As you guys know, I recommend books such as The Way to Superior Man by David Data, No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover, as well as 12 Rules for Life by Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. All these are great supplemental tools to help you alongside the way. But this course, I'm going to try to do everything in my power to tell you everything that you need to know about tapping into that masculine energy so you can become the man that you've always wanted to be. So, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, for sacrificing 
to be able to achieve your goals and to be able to go on this journey to become the man you created to be. So let's get started with what is masculinity. What is masculinity? I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first thought about that question, I had no idea how to answer it. I was going online. I was researching all types of things, and it was very difficult for me to understand, okay, how can I explain masculinity to somebody who may have no concept of what masculinity is? And what I realized is the best way of explaining masculinity in contrast to femininity is that masculinity is creation energy while femininity is connecting energy. And I'll explain it by using the Bible and explaining it by using what happens in the beginning of Genesis. Most scholars say in the beginning of Genesis in chapter one and two, there are two different creation accounts. And, and I'm not going to get too lost in the theological arguments, but let's just, say, let's just say, generally speaking, there's two perspectives of the creation account. In Genesis chapter one, what you see is you see Yahweh, right? You see God as this divine, powerful being creating the world. And what happens is that you see God taking the chaos, which is the universe, and establishing order to it. You see God creating the planet and the sun and the stars and the earth and creating the garden. You see God taking his divine power and turning chaos into order. But then in Genesis chapter 2, you see something happen a bit differently. And in Genesis chapter two, you then see now um, Jehovah and you now see God as a more intimate father who now creates Adam and Eve and he's talking to them and he's conversing with them and he's speaking to them and he's walking with them in the cool of the garden. You see now this very intimate God. And the reality is, is not Jehovah and Yahweh are two different gods. No, they are the same God, but it's two different sides. He's tapping into two different divine um, energies. If you were to ask me and in Genesis chapter one, I see God using very masculine energy to create the world. And then I see him using feminine energy now to cultivate Adam and to give him purpose and to speak life into him and his wife Eve. So men, masculine energy is creation energy. It's building, right? It's the energy that a person feels when they're working a very competitive job and they have to now fight their um, co-workers to get a raise. It's the energy that you feel when you're playing a sporting event and you're now competing to be able to win the game, right? That is what masculine energy is, is this power that you need to create. And feminine energy is also powerful, but it's what you use to connect, right? It's conversation, it's intimacy, it's closeness. That's feminine energy. And there's nothing wrong with a person possessing masculine and feminine because we as human beings made in the image and likeness of God possess both masculine and feminine energy. But as it pertains to being a man and existing in society, getting respect from men and being able to attract women, you have to tap into this masculine energy. And masculine energy is shown in a lot of different attributes, such as ambition, drive, confidence, purpose, determination, perseverance, strength. All these things exude masculine energy. I did a poll on YouTube and I asked men, I said, who do you feel like is one of the most masculine men? And a lot of people said James Bond from the 007 series. And a lot of people also said Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. And with this masculinity is strength. Masculinity is purpose. Masculinity is ambition. Masculinity is building empires. That's what men have been doing since the beginning of time. Men have been building empires using their divine masculine creative energy. 
But what has happened is now that society has become more egalitarian and society has become more safe, now men have less opportunity to use their masculine energy. Back in the day when you're fighting in war, you needed to tap into masculine energy and it's this divine power and the strength to be able to fight off your enemies. But now we don't have war. Now humanity, for the most part, doesn't have a consistent threat for war, especially in the Western world. So a lot of men have lost touch with their masculine energy. And now society has pushed so many men to simply tap into their feminine energy, which is not bad. But what you now see is that when men all when all men have is feminine energy, they know they, they not only don't get respect from other men, but they also struggle with attracting women. And what you also see going on in society is that women have no problem tapping into their masculine energy. I see so many women, I meet so many women who these women are very masculine women. They are purpose-driven women. They are ambitious women. They are very strong women. They are very confident women. They are very competitive women. They are very determined women. They, a lot of women today, they have no problem tapping into their masculine energy because women are pushed now by society to tap into this masculine divine creation energy. And so the purpose of this course is to help men tap into this energy that exists inside of them. There is a large deposit of masculine energy that exists inside of you. And the course is to help you tap into these things and to teach you exactly what needs to be done for you to be successful, for you to thrive and for you to be the man that you want to be. And another example of masculine energy that I tell people in case you're still struggling with understanding it is masculine energy is like a heat seeking missile, right? So when you think about a heat seeking missile, what do you think about? Something that's locked in, it's focused, it has a destination, it has a purpose, it's driven, it's powerful. That is masculine energy. A heat seeking missile is an example of masculinity. And, an, and the last example, which I always talk about, is that think about salsa dancing. In salsa dancing, there are two people. There is a competent leader and there is a willing follower. The competent leader is the masculine person. That is the embodiment of masculinity, especially in romantic relationships. Women want a competent leader. They don't want to lead the dance. They want to be led in the dance. That is masculinity, leadership, initiation, competency. So throughout this course, I'm going to tell you how you can now grow with all these skills, how you can now become more of all these things. So don't forget, guys, masculinity is creation energy and every man has it inside of them. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to tap into it. But before we do so, you got to understand the difference between making a woman happy and making a woman horny. Whenever I talk to so many women today, and I asked them, what do you want in a man? They all say the same thing. They say, I want a guy who's nice. I want a guy who's sweet. I want a guy who's caring. I want a guy who's dependable. I want a guy who's loyal. I want a guy who's honest. While I do not disregard all those things can be true, we all understand that those are not the type of men they choose. We all understand that those are not the type of men that they want to have sex with and they want to be intimate with. While they say they want those kinds of men, we then see them choose men who are completely different because women don't realize that there are certain traits that make them happy and certain traits that make them horny. If this was the year 10,000 B.C., and you were a woman, what would you need in a man? Would you need him to be kind, sweet, caring, gentle? Or would you need him to be strong, powerful, competent, determined, 
You would need the latter of those things because back in the day, a woman's survival was contingent upon the man that she was attached to, that she was married to. Back in the day, there was no police to call. Back in the day, there was no hotline to call for help. Back in the day, in a primitive world, it was a world of power and violence. So women needed to be around powerful men for their own survival. Remember, women couldn't vote. Women couldn't own property. A lot of places, women couldn't work. So they were totally dependent upon a man. So for women, they needed very masculine things in a man. So women for thousands of years have evolved to value resources, to value strength, to value power, to value competency, because that's what was required for survival. A lot of people are like, oh, these girls are gold diggers. These girls are this, these girls are that. No, if you lived in an ancient world, you would understand why they value these things because they needed these things to survive as well as to establish a long and healthy life for their children in a world where infants died at such a high rate. So women have evolved to be desirous of masculine men. And those men are what make women horny because those men make them sexually aroused because their brains are telling them, I need to re reproduce with that guy. I need to be reproduced with that individual because now I will have a safe life and my children will be able to be safe and healthy and have provision as well. So when women are talking about all these emotional skills in men, I'm not denying they like them, but I'm telling you more than anything, the horny skills are more important for attracting mating. Why is that important? Because the horny skills are masculine skills and the happy skills are feminine skills. The divine man, as David Data says, possesses them both. They have all the skills that make women horny, but also all the skills that make women happy as well. The divine man has both. But too many men today, they have all the happy skills. These men, they're able to be sweet and caring and honest and dependable and trustworthy. They have all the skills of connecting, right? They have all these skills, but they struggle with women. That's why you see so often historically nice guys always struggle with women because nice guys, all they have is the happy skills, a.k.a. the feminine skills, but none of the horny skills, a.k.a. the masculine skills that women are attracted to. So as we move forward, what you're going to realize is all the things I'm going to describe, which is not for getting women, it's for you as a man. You're going to see, oh, these are things that the quote unquote bad boy possesses because usually the bad boy has all the horny skills and none of the, the happy skills. But because remember, end of the day, they're still attracted to him because it makes him horny and makes him aroused. He still wins over the nice guys. But like I said, we want to be divine men, right? We don't want to be nice guys, you know, no backbone, weenie hut juniors, or we don't want to be the bad boys, you know, these bully domineering powerful beings. We want to be these divine men. We're going to learn bro both those skills. But I want to really stress that um, idea because I talked about it in a previous podcast. And for a lot of guys, it was very illuminating. And by the end of this course, you guys will learn so much about these masculine skills that will make you so attractive, will make you so desirable. And these skills benefit you in all aspects of life with work, with women, with friends, with, with communities. It will benefit you so often. So we are about to jump into all these masculine skills that you guys need to tap into. But I need to make this abundantly clear, guys. This course is not anime. This course is not a movie. It simply watching this like it's mindless entertainment, like you're simply just gathering information is not enough. You must apply 
everything I tell you in this course. Simply having the information is not enough. You must apply everything because without application, all the information is useless. So I really hope that every last one of you guys who is watching this course is taking notes and you're going to apply every single tangible thing that I'm going to teach you to become the man that God created you to be. So let's go ahead and begin and let's learn exactly what are these masculine skills that you need to tap into to become the best version of yourself. And the first thing I want to talk about is purpose, because without purpose, there is no man.